friends, welcome back to my channel. Glad that you're here. Today I am going to be sharing with you guys a new resource that I have grabbed from Evan Moore. Of course, I love Evan Moore. This is going to be their new Smart Start math book. Now, I've done videos in the past of their Smart Start series. Um, so just as a quick like introduction, if you're new, first of all, <clears throat> Evan Moore, I love them. If you're new, you now know. I love them for a lot of reasons, which I've talked about in a lot of different videos, but primarily I love them just because they are full color books that give your students a comprehensive understanding of any particular subject. And they are non-denominational, they are not Christian, so you can actually have them and use them in your classroom and have it funded from an outside source. If you have some outside funding, then they support Evan Moore. And that's always nice to be able to find a reliable curriculum that you're going to love and that you can actually have this third source or this third party um, help you fund. So. The Smart Start series um, is, like the name implies, a start to a child's education in any given area. So they print it in preschool through first grade. So pre-K, kindergarten, and first grade are the only levels that you can get the series in. And there are four subject areas. So you can get them in um, read and write. I happen to have them. So the read and write series is going to be, as it suggests, reading and writing skills. Um, it also comes in a sight words, which I don't have a copy of that, although I have done it in the past. Um, I think I've just gotten rid of that particular book, so I can't show it to you. But as the name suggests, it is teaching your kids sight words starting from preschool first or kindergarten and first grade. Now, just as a little like side note, the preschool version isn't reading sight words like A and I, although those are, I think, in the first list. But you're going to want to use that. Don't start your preschool year off with that because they are... They're sight words and you probably want your child to be recognizing the pattern of how to read before you start feeding them these sight words. So like for me, the preschool level is a little bit further than I want to start my four year old, four year old on because we're still trying to learn the letters and sounds. So, um, anyway, they also have smart start STEM. The STEM books are, as it suggests, science, technology, engineering, and math. Um, they have another stem, which I've been using, which has the A in it, steam. Is that how they say it? I don't know. Anyway, um, but this is just a fun start for your younger ones if you're trying to uh, make it kind of fun. And then today's video, which I'll focus on, is going to be the math curriculum. Um, again, preschool, kindergarten, and first grade. The one that I have to show you is going to be this kindergarten level, but I will talk about both the preschool and the first grade level as well. So um, check the description box below for any of these resources. I just put the general link there so you can access all four of these books in all of the levels from that one link. So Stay, you know, check down there. And then if you wanna hear more about math, stay tuned because we're gonna talk about it. Alrighty, righty. Okay, so here's math. Usually in my like previous books, here's a playlist right here of all of my Evan Moore books because I am an Evan Moore fan, um, but a lot of times I would turn the camera around and like show you the pages. I don't do that anymore because I was having a problem of people trying to like steal my videos and put them on their own channel. And so um, just to avoid that, I just show my face all the time. So now you can know that they're from me. Uh, and also, if you want to see every single page, I'm not going to show it in this video because for the sake of time, but you can go to the link that I have in that description box below. It's over to Evan Moore, and they've done a really great job of just creating a PDF option where you can actually look through each of the pages. Then you can kind of see the progression of skill level for each of those books, and they do that for a lot of their books. So cheers to Evan Moore. You've done a great job of showing what your products actually are. So let's talk about this. I grabbed this book. So my four-year-old is really good at math. Um, for a four-year-old, he knows all of his numbers. He can write all of his numbers. He's doing early addition. Um, he recognizes one-to-one, -one, like all the things. He's actually pretty advanced in math. So I have him doing um, a Becca's letter, 
Abeka's Math, I guess it's called. Anyway, I have him doing their math for kindergarten and it's going great. We are loving it. But when I saw that Evan Moore had released a new edition of the Smart Start Math, of course, like, hello, I'm going to be like, oh, it's new. Sure, I'll buy it. Um, so they sent me this one and it is everything that I want to swap out for a season just because I love how this book has created it to be to have it not feel like a math lesson. My kids, if you don't know, my kids have been doing Horizons math from the beginning of our homeschool life, which is we are now into our sixth year. So my oldest has done all of his math mostly through Horizons, which is just math pages. And I love math pages and they're doing a great job. But I love that I can start my little one as a more gentle approach and make it seem more of um, something that math is important because it we use it in every day of our lives. Something that's a really popular saying in public education is, when am I ever gonna use this, right? I don't ever use math. My brother-in-law is a math teacher at the public school and he always just makes a joke when, when someone uses math in real life, then it's like a warning sign like, whoa, math in real life, we don't use math in real life, you know? He teaches middle school. So I like that this Smart Start is giving my child like an introduction to yeah we do use math in real life and these are some examples of how math is incorporated into our life so the preschool book which is before this one comes um starts kind of the same way preschool is going to be more of your numbers one through ten and then this is going to be covering those same numbers you start like with numbers one through three, I think, but it does graduate into like the teens. So you're going to be getting a few more of those larger numbers and the correlating recognition and one to one correlation and that sort of thing with this. Um, the preschool book and this book also includes shapes and patterns and measurement is in kindergarten and graphing. And I just love, let me just show you the inside. This is going to be sorting. Um, I just, I just love how they do it. So, um, here we go. We're, we've got two groups. This is cookies, obviously. And so they're going to have you color the cookies with sprinkles one color and the cookies that don't have sprinkles a different color. And now we're going to be sorting on this tray. And I really loved, is it the next page or the previous page? It's the previous page. Okay. So they tell you this cute little story about the girl and her dad making cookies. And then they open it up to the kids and say, how would you sort these cookies? And there's lots of different ways that you can sort them. And that conversation is something that shows math in real life. Not that there's one specific answer for sorting, which we lots of times do, you know, put the reds one here and the blue ones there, which is a great start as well. But I just love that they say like, you can either sort them big and little or flowers and hearts or chocolate and vanilla. And it it's just a really great approach to making it feel not like a math lesson. And when you're doing those younger ages, I, I love that. I think that that's really nice. And my older daughter is doing Horizons lessons right now and she is excelling in it. She's enjoying it. But it's also kind of refreshing to be able to step away from those lesson-based curriculum and making it more just kind of like experience-based, I guess, like more life-based. Um, let me show you another one here. We're going to be doing numbers and symbols. So we are recognizing one to one correlation. We're going to count the cars and circle the correct number. Again, those teens are here in these types of books. Um, we do do measurements. I was going to show you. Here's just a fun like who's in the cave. Um, oh, and something else that's in here is that they do have audios that you can download and have them read to the student. I've never actually used them because I'm a part of my children's school day. Um, and I find negative. I find that the audios read them very monotone and kind of fast. It's a personal opinion, so I don't necessarily use them, but the QR code is here in the front of the book. So you can download those and listen to them yourself. Um, you can show your kids how to do it. And you know, kids love little technology and tapping the screen to make something play. So. They love doing that too. Um, here we're going to be doing a little bit of fractions for parts make a whole. So again, it's just an introduction. And as the, the name suggests, it's a smart start to approaching um, the math world and understanding the language of math. What does it mean to add? What does it mean to subtract? 
Um, again, that's, oh, here we are graphing, but there are some addition and subtraction problems that you're going to be getting here in the end, which is fun. Of course, they've got a, oh, here we go. See, um, here's the addition and the subtraction. And of course, they do have an answer key at the back that can kind of help direct you if you're like, I'm totally confused with what it is that they want my student to do. But kind of a bonus to Evan Moore is I feel like I've never needed to use the answer key, especially in these younger books, because they do such a great job of presenting the information that you know the answer, right? One of the big like um, comments or concerns that people have with homeschooling is I could never homeschool my children because I don't know the content. And it becomes more prevalent in the older grades, of course. But when you feel yourself begin to teach these younger concepts, then you become more comfortable in your ability as your children grow to teach those concepts with them. And something as simple as a book like this, a smart start. And if you even walk through, like start with preschool, then go to the kindergarten, then go to the first grade, it will give yourself as your, the parent that confidence to teach your children the math concepts because you're going to be walking through it with them. So it's just a much, uh, as much a smart start for the students as it is for me as the teacher to be like, I can do this and I can give myself, my children, a foundation in math where I don't feel like I got one because I went to public school and, you know, what a great disservice that we've done to our society to make parents believe that you cannot teach fifth grade math when you yourself went through fifth grade math and then beyond. So anyway, I am really excited. I am actually going to be putting aside our Abeka book um, going into our next chunk of time. Um, we're getting, we're in fall break. So then as soon as fall break is over, we're not going to go back to Abeka. We're going to do this and walk through all of these. Of course it comes with stickers. I didn't show you that, but my student, my kiddos love stickers and they always love putting stickers on their pages and on their shirts and on their arms and legs and whatever. So we're a fan of stickers. If you're not a fan of your kids putting stickers everywhere, just note they are in the back and you're going to want to make sure you put those somewhere where they're not going to be a problem. But um, again, check that description box below. And once again, there's a whole series of the smart starts. So here I've got the read and write. Again, I don't have the sight words, but they do have that STEM. So you're going to get a little bit of science in here. If you're looking for something to do with your kids for science, this is a hands-on activity based. I do have a description box in the eye in the sky or a video in the eye in the sky. And then this new one, they just barely released a brand new version of it. They've had it in the past, but this is the newest updated version. So make sure you check this out over at Evan Moore. Super affordable, super awesome. I'm a fan if you haven't caught my energy yet. So um, check it out if you've got some time. Thanks so much for watching another video here on Full Purpose and Heart. If you are not a subscriber, I invite you to join along with me as I share our story on our side of the mountain. Have a good one, guys.